Welcome to the Dominaria pre-release on Magic Online. Not as exciting as the one in your store. Um, this is our very first seal pool ever, 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 ever. Um, let's take a look and see what we're cooking with. Father says, what if I want to give the code to my friend and my friend gives me money with no relation or context? <laughs> oh, you see a Yargle? Did we get ourselves a Yargle? Some Yargle action? I don't see it. Also, I'm going to apologize preemptively for the construction that is going on. Ooh, I see me a Yargle, too. Not one, but two Traxos. Hold on. Let's. So the first thing I do when I'm looking at mana pools is... Rarity. So let's pull all of our rares down and then go back to color. Okay. This is what we're cooking with. Da -da -da. We have a lot of black rares. Um, ooh, Joe, welcome. Oh, do we have a double Icy Manipulator? That we do. So I was reading, oh, look at the new art for Icy Manipulator. I mean, I still like the old art better, but that's just nostalgia, I think. Mm. No, one but two Traxxas. Four mana, seven, seven. Colorless legendary artifact creature construct. Traxos Scourge of Krug enters the battlefield tapped on and doesn't untap during as you earn to step. Whenever you cast a historic spell, untap Traxos. <sighs> We'd have to go so deep on historic before this is actually good. And then they just like chump with a one. Oh, well, I guess it has trample, so they can't just chump with a one one. It still seems like me. Yeah, we got some look, look, Krug. Yeah, black Traxos historic. We'll see. We'll see what we can pull together, okay? Uh, Dreadshade is three mana, black, 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 three, three. Dreadshade gets plus one, plus one until the turn, so you'd have to be, like, mono black for this. Though, seriously, Josu Vest should be in your deck. Uh, where is Josu Vest? It should be a black card. Oh, here it is. This is, uh, this is Liliana's brother, right? Four mana, four, five. Uh, kicker for six. Okay, so the kicker's an additional six, so you pay ten. When Josu Vest Lich Knight enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create eight two two black zombie creature knight tokens with menace. Josu looks quite good, cause like four mana four five menace is like very good. Yeah, he's Lily's little bro. Yeah, I remember that like the stories that Lily goes in and is like, "Yo, demons, my brother is dying. Help a help a help a girl out," and the demons are like, "I I got you, girl," and then they give her this. Uh, um, this, this, like, poison that, they, that, that she thinks is gonna heal her brother, so she goes to her brother and is like, yo, bro, drink this, and then he's like, oh shit, I'm a zombie now. That is my interpretation of what happened in that story. Um, Rites of Belzenok. Okay, so this is a saga, four mana. Our boo looks scabby good, I'll scope it out in a second. Okay, so when it first comes in, you create two O one one black cleric tokens, but then the next turn you also make black cleric tokens. And then the three is... Um, <laughs> Gabby Flavor Titan is the best part of the day. I should. I should probably... I should actually, like, keep up with the story and see what's going on. I used to be, like, super into magic lore. I don't know what happened. I think the story with, like, Battle for Zendikar totally lost me. I was like... The story kind of sucks. Peace. Hmm. Yeah, that was Tainted Remedy, right? That's like little Lily giving it to her brother. It's kind of brutal. Well, now he's like doing all right. He's a Lich King. Like, you can't be doing too bad. Jace is awesome now. Wait, what? I am so used to Jace being so whiny and complaining. I really, really don't like Jace as a character. So if Jace turned good, I mean, like, I'm kind of interesting. You've piqued my interest. Hi, Shaka Shaka. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I think so, Regulate. I think pre-release means that it's time to pre-release. That's how that's that's how the rules are, right? The Ixalan story was dope. Dude, I did not look at the Ixalan story at all. I think after Battle for Zendikar, I really stopped looking at the story. And then at some point, I was like, wow, Nissa's just kind of being heinous. Hey, John, how are you? Jace is actually legit now because of actually story with these. What? Okay, you guys have convinced me. You guys have also convinced me because I have wanted to gender, uh, gender bend cosplay Jace for a really long time, but I'm like, but I hate his character. I'm never going to do that. But you guys tell me that it's actually dope. Maybe I have to. 
The one that just says hi. Hi, little ninja. Ooh, Darth. That, this, I like everything you guys are saying. I will go read that story. Is there a place that summarizes a story for you if, if you're lazy and don't want to read the story? What's the last thing with this one? Uh, create a 6-6 six, six black demon creature token with flying trample and at the beginning of your upkeep sacrifice another creature you can't. This creature deals 6 damage to you. This card is cool. I think I want to play that card. Yeah, Jace does seem whiny, but apparently Jace is cool now. This is all news to me. Jace's arch in the excellent stories he discovered he... He'd been a bitch in control. <laughs> he fell for Roska. He got ripped and determined not to be a bitch. I like it. <laughs> That's cute. Also, I was asking questions about like how exactly it works with Roska, but nobody could give me some answers, so I don't know about all that. So true story that all the extended art promo legendary creatures do not have the new legendary border. Thank God. Oh, that is good. In Bolas's clutches. Okay, let's look at... These look like not great. Uh, the black cards look really good. This card looks kind of sketchy because it's just impossible to cast. So that's the current verdict on our rares. Let's go. Somebody said blue was good, so let's go through blue real quick. This card it does not look remotely playable. As far as cute as it is. <laughs> one minute, one, one, when you cast a historic spell, scry one. I guess if we end up going with like a Traxos nonsense deck, like we might want to play that, but probably not. Uh, Undead Poro, we kind of have to see how many Historic Spells we have. I don't think the card's, like, playable if you don't have that many Historic Spells. This is my give. Because it also ETBs tapped. Wait, 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 wait. Does Icy Manipulator on top? No! Oh, we could have almost gotten the combo. <laughs> MTGStore.com. Let's see this. It's being slow. We'll check it out later. Oh, we'll probably play Icy Manipulator. It just would have been a combo. <laughs> it would have been like the Colossus. Uh, okay, Rescue. Return target permanent you control to its owner's hand. Maybe. Relic Runner. Two mana, two one. Relic Runner can be blocked if you cast a historic spell. I mean, if we go all historic, that works. Tetsuko Umezawa Fugitive. Is he missing an arm? What is going on here? Where's your arm? Creatures you control with power toughness, uh, one or less can't be blocked. Me, 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 me. Well, take servant does, but also all artifact and tap when you cast anyway. Ooh. I've got the ten mana leviathan. Uh, is it this one? Uh, when Slin Voda, the Rising Deep, enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return all creatures to their owner's hands except for Merfolk's Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. <laughs> Isn't it Octopi? Isn't that the opposite of Octopus? I guess Octopuses sounds correct. That card is cool. In Bolas's Clutches. Uh, for six mana, Enchant Permanent. You control Enchant Permanent. Enchant Permanent is legendary. That's cool. Oh, I know fishes. Yeah, I don't know. Fishes are like... Oh, also the turtles don't matter, I think. Merfolk, Krakens, Leviathan, Octopuses, and Serpents. Yeah, screw the turtles. This turtle's huge. Oh, is this historic? What does Kelden Raider do? Oh yeah, they sorry, they both they both are. Okay. Cold water snapper, six mana four or five hex proof. Me not super impressed with that. Academy Journey Mage, five mana. This creature costs one less to cast if you control a wizard. Okay. When Academy Journeyman enters the battlefield, return target to an opponent. Oh, that is kind of cool if we get to, if we get there on the wizards. Yeah, it is kind of weird that they never kind of specify what a historic thing is, though. They never say that, right? Uh, darn, Chris! Thank you so much for the fourteen months and welcome back. I do not actually think the big fish is playable. I was just excited because it's so ridiculous. I don't know. We'll see. 
The fact that it doesn't have trample is kind of a problem, but I I do think this format is kind of so. Oh, another Academy Journey Mage. We really want to get there on like wizards for these guys. Yeah, historic is uh, the sagas or anything with a legendary border. So like e even this is like a. Well, it, it also says legendary enchantment on it, but yeah, anything with like these borders, I think, are. Are 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 historic, but it's weird that they don't specify it. I have heard that this format is probably pretty slow, or at least I was reading a couple of people's articles about it. I was like reading South Spanfield article on MTG Player, and he was saying that like this format's probably gonna be kind of slow. Probably wanna play like seventeen, maybe like eighteen lands, and you want a lot of like mana sinks and stuff. That the kicker cards are good. Stuff like icy manipulator is good for sinking your mana in later in the game and stuff. It's in the reminder text. Oh, is it? Hold on, let me see. Oh, artifacts, legendaries, and oh, so artifacts are too. Well, this is this fit, fits the bill for both because it's a legendary artifact also. But that's cool because that means that this icy manipulator is also historic. We have three Pilgrim's Eyes. Uh, where are they? Skittering Surveyor, right? Three mana, one to win it ETBs. You may search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand and shuffle your library. Wow, that is really cool. Because that means we can do some nice splashing. It's also sealed, so it's going to be slow. <laughs> Traxxas can untap itself if you jump off. <laughs> uh, that's funny. This was Jace's reaction to seeing Vraska for the first time, having his mind wiped by the escape from Amonkhet. Hold on, let me see. He locked eyes with a regal woman he could only assume was the captain of the ship. She was remarkable. The woman was tall and lithe, with brilliant emerald skin and tendrilled hair dancing cur curiously in the wind. He knew somehow that she was a Gorgon, but she felt no he felt no fear when he looked in her eye. <laughs> That's cute. I'm happy that Jace found some love. He was kind of a punk before. Uh, divination sounds awesome. Is are you a wizard? No, you're a human rogue. Draco Spellblast. My best pull currently is probably I don't know the rights of bells. And, this card seems good. Or like Josu Vess, Lich King. Okay, Tolarian Scholar is a human wizard, but my god, it's so bad. Three mana, two three. Just to make this cheaper, it doesn't seem quite worth it. We're gonna have to find wizards in other colors probably. Homerid Explorer, four mana three three. When Homerid Explorer enters the battlefield, target player puts the top four cards of his library into his her graveyard. That's like pretty medium. <laughs> Don't come on. Uh, Tatsuko Umezawa Fugitive is two mana one three. Creatures you control with power one top power or toughness. So he is unblockable, and he makes your other one X's or X ones unblockable. It is also a historic spell, I mean, for like the Traxos if we do end up going that direction. And everything else is not historic, so... This is kind of our blue. Uh, let's go and look at our black. Blessing of Belzenok. Target creature gets plus two plus one until end of turn, if it's a legendary, it also gains lifeling until end of turn. Meh. Demonic Vigor. Radjali C, yeah, thank you for stopping in. Yeah, she also makes the Relic Runner un unblockable, which is nice. Or he, whatever, whatever this is. I don't even know. Is Dirtle turned on okay? Card. He's a six mana four five. We can pull him down, but like my gosh, we definitely don't want a two. Vigor is solid and sealed with bombs. What does Vigor do? Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one. When the enchanted creature dash, return the card to its owner's hand. That as long as you can get blown out, it could be good. Let's pull one down. Divest. Target player reveals their hand, you choose an artifact or creature card from it, that player discards that card. I mean, you can probably play that in sealed. Stronghold Confessor, 1 mana, 1-1, one, one. kicker for 3, menace. If Stronghold Confessor was kicked, it enters the battlefield with 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Eugh, I don't think I like this in sealed too much, it's a little, like... Like, you never want to play it. Like, you always want to play this for 4, so you're getting a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. Menace. Are you in a LSV going to Midnight Pre-Release? No, Draco. It has been a long time since I've gone to a Midnight Pre-Release. 
Approximately since Gate Crash. I don't plan on doing one again. But I have no pre-release this weekend. Speaking of pre-releases. If you are in the Denver area and would like to pre-release where I'm pre-releasing and other people are as well, uh, we are going to... I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> I debated you. What's the name of the store we are going to? Uh, it's only okay if you kick it. It's like not even that good. <laughs> I don't know. Deathbloom Thalid. When Deathbloom Thalid dies, create a 1-1 a one, one green Sapperlink token. 3 mana, 3-2. I mean, this is not terrible. You think Dirtle Turtle's good on its own? I think you kind of ought to suit it up with some stuff. I, I know it's hard to kill a 4-5, but... No, no, Dokomoi. That did not happen. It's gonna be like me, BK, Luis, like, I think Raptor, and like, Ben Lundquist. Yeah, I support all the LGSs that I remember the name to. I'm asking Luis what the stores again. I know it's on Sunday at noon. Eviscerate, destroy target creatures, quite good. Dark Bargain, look at the top three cards of your library, put two of them in your hand and the other in your graveyard. Dark Bargain deals two damage to you. Yeah, I'm kind of in for that. Uh... <laughs> Dark Bargain get Traxxas back after you use the second one to untap the first one. <laughs> Hmm. Wind Grace Acolyte, 5 mana, 3, 2. When it ETBs, put the top 3 cards in your library into your graveyard and you gain 3 life. 5 mana, 3, 2, though. Yargles. Sacrifice another creature. Thalid Omnivore gets plus 2 plus 2 until the turn. If a Sapperling was sacrificed this way, you gain 2 life. That would be sweet in like you if you build around it, but I don't think it's very good on its own. Not with what we have currently. Let's go look at our green real quick. Uh, hold on, let's look at our artifacts. We can definitely... I think we want to play both ICs. Kind of just got wrecked by... by by Traxxas. I mean, I'm gonna try to play it. I see, I see. Honestly, look, with all these Traxxas, we have three Skittering Surveyors. We can totally play the two Traxxas. Like, we can do this. I believe in us. Sac... Doesn't this look exactly like the Art of Profane Memento? Sacrifice, Blood Tallow Candle. Target creature gets minus five, minus five until end of turn. Pfft, it's really expensive for six. Voltaic Servant, 2 mana, 1, 3. At the beginning of your end step, untap target artifact. <gasps> Get in there. Uh, Ether Glider, flying. Ether Glider can't block. I mean, we just play both of these and just like try to go ham with the Traxos, right? Dude, I hadn't seen, I, didn't, I had no idea what that card did. Why, why that's insane? <laughs> I almost died. I was like, what? I wish I had more of these. How do I get myself more of them? Yeah, you were not kidding, Sliver. You were not killing. Uh, Pardic Wanderer, Trample Sixes. I mean, like, we're kind of, if we have two Traxos, I think we're just in to play all these colorless cards, right? Yes, S. Lou, I just tot totes missed it. If we play Mono Black, we could play the Shade, too. We could play thick cards dot deck. Like, but I guess we have some good blue cards. The problem with our blue cards is that, like, I think our good cards are these Academy Journey Mages, which are not even that good because we don't, like, we have the Divination. And then we don't even have Wizards to make this cheaper. We have these two legends, the Tetsukos. My red is nuts. Let's go through red. Gitu Lava Runner. I think I should look at Voltaic Servant. Uh, which color is that in? Voltaic Servant. I don't see it. Oh, this one? Oh yeah, we, we I freaked out about it already. You don't like the red cards at DC. Let's go through them real quick. Fire Fist Adept. Five mana, three, three. When it ETBs, it deals X damage to target creature and opponent controls where X is the number of wizards you control. We really don't have, but this is a wizard himself, right? Keldon Raider, when it ETBs, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. It's a warrior. 
Keldon Raider. Keldon. <laughs> you have like infinite of these. Uh, ooh. Skrrrr. At the beginning of your end step, if Skizix. Or if Skizik? Skizik wasn't kicked, sacrifice it. And you can kick it for one red. That's Trample Haste. So it's a four mana, like. Five, like four mana Lava Axe, or like keep it around, maybe. This card is cool. Uh, this card is probably good enough, but my gosh, do we have too many? Radiant Lightning, four mana. It's four mana. Radiant Lightning deals three damage to target creature player and one damage to each creature that player controls. I mean, those are good. Fight with Fire. I have Atlanta Worlds. Oh, that I do. Damn. That is good. Yeah, welcome back, Monster Store. We missed you. We didn't miss you. Three mana, but you can kick it for eight. It deals five damage to target creature. If the spell was kicked, it deals ten damage. Divide it as you choose among any number of targets instead. Wow, that's pretty sick. Uh, Orcish Vandal is just two mana, one, one. Sack and artifact deal two damage to a target. Frenzied Rage. Oh, that is kind of cool because Orcish Vandal could toss our skittering surveyors after they're done getting lands. Fight with Fire kicked 10 to the face. Dude, that, that sounds so good. Fight with Fire seems like a good card. Shiv and Fire, kicker for four. It deals two damage to target creature. If this creature was kicked, it deals four damage to target creature instead. That card is good too. Is this an instant? Hold on. It is. Orcish Vandal seems good for us. Frenzied Rage. Two mana. Enchant creature, two one has a menace. Meh. Bloodstone. Blood, blood, bloodstone Golem. <laughs> goblin. No Golem. Jesus. Two and a two two. When you cast a spell, if that spell was kicked, it gets plus one, plus one against menace. I mean, it's a minute, two minute two two, I guess. Hey, Dingus Egg, how are you? Today I learned that Grove from Ashes puts land in the play on tap. Did, did you cast it or did they cast it against you, Ark? Rampaging uh, Cyclops, throwing a 4 4, gets minus two minutes so as long as two or more creatures are blocking it. Oh, I don't like that. This is also medium. But if we play Wizards, we'll want it. Okay, so that's our red cards. Was there anything else in black that we wanted? Radiating Lightning again. Radiating Lightning deals three damage to target player and one damage to each creature that player controls. Oh! Never mind, this card is so bad. I lied. I thought it... I thought it was to a creature. You'd like snap it off for a creature. That sounds so good. Yeah, well, we're probably not playing. Like we're, I don't even know which colors we're playing these. I'm just pulling out the playables right now. It doesn't look like our white's very good. Board the weather like two mana. Look at the top five cards. Reveal a historic card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. Knight of Grace, you mean a 2 2 first strike? Hexproof. Hexproof from black? <laughs> Hexproof from black? This is not protection from black. This creature can be the target of black spells or abilities your opponents control, but it doesn't have pro black. It's so weird. The card's so weird. Maze of Unicorn, Disciple, 2 mean a 1 1. Our white is like pretty medium. I don't even think we need to pull it down. Artificer's Assistant? Nah, I don't think that card's very playable. So, it looks like, just from looking at our at our sealed pool, yeah, they don't want to do protection anymore. Mm, you should always use protection, though. To be fair, protection was very confusing in, in the magic world. I think our red and our... Black are probably the best. Our black's not super deep, but we have some good cards. Like, we have the Shade, we have the the Lich King, we have the Rites. Um, Gabby, tell me Slim Voda is down there as a meme. Where is Slim Voda? Oh, yeah, we're, 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 not, we're not probably not playing this. <laughs> You'd also consider playing Wind Grace Acolyte. Oh, this thing? I mean, if we end up playing black, we probably do. 
All the other ones are just like not very exciting. I guess we could play this as a four drop. As a four mana, three, three menace. Uh, it's like kind of medium. Funny thing is that as an L1, banding is easier to explain the protection. Dude, banding is a. God, I, I can't even with banding. I literally can't with banding. Are you in the single stage or multi stage? I am in single stage, the player. So let's get this guy back in. Um. I really don't feel like we got there on the blue. So what I'm thinking is, let me put this over here because that's our playable blue. I'm thinking that we want to do some combination of this. Oh, you're right, Sliver. I didn't look at my green. What am I doing? Uh, look at the top three cards in your library. May reveal a creature or land card from them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest in the body of the library in any order. I don't really want that. Arbor Armament. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains reach until end of turn. Nope. Land of War Elves. Uh, Corrosive Ooze. Who dat? Who Jongo? Thank you so much for the 20 mi 21 months. Welcome back to the brood. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Happy pre release. Protection was essentially top down design gone wrong. They thought, wouldn't it be cool if creatures could be immune to a specific color and then design the clutch that is protected? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't work out very well. I remember people explaining um, pro to me, and it was just like, I don't get it. Uh, whenever corrosive ooze blocks or becomes blocked by an equipped creature, destroy all equipment. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Look at that sword. It's being disintegrated. Uh, I guess this is playable, but not super exciting. Two mana, give it plus two, plus two, but you can kick it for four, and it gets plus four, plus four. I mean, I guess we would play this. Land Award Scout. Two mana, one, three, you may... Put a land card from your land onto the battlefield. Sure. Pierce the sky, deal seven damage to tiger creature with flying sideboard. Spore crown thalid. Two mana, two, two. Each other creature they control that's a fungus or sapling gets plus two, plus two. I mean, this is like a bear, basically. Guy's protector must be blocked of able. Four, two. Okay, our, I decided that our green is bad. So we don't even have things that we want to splash, do we? That's kind of a shame, considering we have all these skittering surveyors. But to be fair, I think we just kind of want those to untap Traxos. We could splash for Blessed Light. What does Blessed Light do again? Five mana, Exile, Tiger, Creature, Enchantment. Uh, yeah. I think that is a reasonable card to play in Sealed. I think you should consider splashing in Bolas' Clutches. I mean, this card is really good, but it's double blue. I'd rather... Play Exile Target or Enchantment. This gets around a lot of stuff. Like, it's really good removal. Okay, Demonic Vigor. Uh, let's put this where it belongs. We have too many Force for starters. Lunarel, how are you? So, Eviscerate for sure. Dark Bargain, I think we want that for sure. We want Josu for sure. We want the right for sure. I'm not even. This is a five. All these Keldon Raiders seem loose. Yeah, I don't like the one one too much either. So we can put that here. We definitely want the servant. The Orcish Vandal's great with all of our skittering surveyors. Uh, Bloodstone Goblin. Whenever you cast a spell, that spell was kicked. It gets plus one plus one. That does not look particular. This looks great. This does not look very exciting. But if you're heavy colorless with lots of fixing and you raiders to drop it if you can't cast it. That's true. But then I but then I wouldn't want to splash Blessed Light. I do think that Imbolus's clutches is better, obviously. Do we have any uh wizards to make those maybe like we splash the Academy Journey Mages? I don't think we have too many of them. Damn, love the BBBB into the. Oh yeah, we're not we're not playing this guy. I am not that greedy. Don't worry. We'd have to play mono black to play that guy. I think. Vandal is a at it. This one? No, I think this one's good. Cause like, remember, we're not even splashing for anything good. We're playing these because we have the two Traxos. So like, we get this, get a land, untap Traxos, then throw it at their face. Like, if you see closely at the picture of Orcish Vandal, you see that there is a skittering surveyor being tossed. Journey Mage is good enough at 5. 
I think the shade is good even as a five or six drop. Really, Sunny, you'd still play it. It is sweet. The fact that it's plus one plus one, not plus one plus oh, is kind of nice. It'd be like a here. <laughs> like right there. Please play Dreadshade. It seems decent once you're able to cast it. Yeah, we could. I mean, like, the Skittering Surveyor certainly makes us easier to, like, cast it. It's probably, like, around here. Okay, let's keep making some cuts. Ship and Fire looks good. Oh, sorry about the Beedrill stream. They're fixing my bathroom. I don't know about Demonic Vigor. Hi, Leonardo. How are you? The bigger problem with protection cards is that they give other cards protection and a more permanent basic. Looking at swords of XY. Yeah, I mean, playing against the sword in your colors, it feels really bad. These Death Bloom Ballads look medium. Fight with Fire seems good. What is First Eruption doing? Oh, this is a rare? Why didn't we see this before? The First Eruption deals 1 damage to each creature without flying. Add 2 red and sacrifice the amount if you do the First Eruption deals 3 damage to each creature. This card looks medium. Is it bad for me not to play a rare so or a rare scroll or whatever they're called? The noise just makes it more of an LSV stream. If you can afford to cut the Kelden Raiders, your deck doesn't really have any double red. Yeah, I think we might be able to. These are like these all all of these three look so bad. Like these three. You're not in for that volcano analysis. It looks very bad. This looks like a really, really, really bad, bad saga. <laughs> Some of the sagas just aren't great for limited. I mean, what is this great for, though? Um, I want all the artifacts for the tracks. So those icy manipulators are good. The rights is good. The Jossu vest, dark bargain, the abyss rate. Eruption seems totally fine. It doesn't look good. Oh, I'm not cutting Icy. I, I think Icy's great. You will cut Traxos? No, but we're playing Traxos. Like, this is why we're playing these colors. This is why we're playing the the gliders and stuff. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Sorry it's so loud in here. There you go. Yeah, we're, 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 we have two Traxos, so we're obviously going to play all the artifacts that we have. Yeah, Alice, I was looking at that one also. I think this one also looks bad. So we're down to 25. So Wind Grace Acolyte, I mean, having a flying 3-2 later in the game sounds kind of nice. Let's be real. Is Yargle unplayable? I mean, Yargle's historic, so it kind of goes with Traxos. What if we... Okay, hold on. It. Humor me for a second. What if we... Cut all our red and just add. <laughs> We're gonna be a skittering, sur triple skittering surveyor mono black deck. Did the anti Joselix come with promos? No, I don't believe so. Maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. Tetsuko Tetsuku, Divination, Academy Journey Mage, Journey Mage, in Bolas' clutches. Bam. Maybe not so many Tetsukos. <laughs> Maybe one less. And we can still play the Blessed Light, I think. Are the new legendaries on Moda so sporadically new bordered? Yes, Entropy Null. That they they just uh, they just updated that in the latest Magic Online update. No, it doesn't really. It enters the battlefield uh, tapped, Sunny. So you c it doesn't really untap it for you. Or are you talking about the Tetsuko? Wait, what do you mean Entropy? Oh, why are the new Legendaries modus so sporadically new boarded? Ah, they just did it retroactively to all Legendaries so that it would be clear for Brawl, basically. Why are some and not others? No, why not at all? No, I mean, all the Legendary cards get, got the new border. It, like, all, all of them should have it. 
You can bounce your Tatsuko or... Sur oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, we can bounce, like, a Skittering Surveyor and then replay it and play Traxxas. Okay, I like this deck better. So, what is extra now? These salads look medium. Uh, the shade looks fine still. These l little Skittering Birds look good. Surveyor looks good. Dark Bargain, Eviscerate. Josuves, the right. The Icy Manipulators, the double Traxxos. Blessed Light. The two journey mages. Uh, now we don't think I think this wind grace act like. Um, Yargles and the Pardic Wanderer looks also kind of like me. No artificer's assistant. Nah, I really don't think we want that card. Mm. Get rid of the black cat. Which is my black cat? The Deathbloom Phallid? Slayer King says, eating dinner and watching Dominaria Seal today is a good day. Happy 420 to anybody observing that particular holiday. Is oh, it's today 420? That it is. Happy 420, everybody. Yeah, I think I'll take a Pardic Wanderer. We have better ways of untapping our, our creatures. All right, we did it. So for this, we want probably one Plains, Six, uh, six Islands, 18 Swamps. That sounds about... Wow, did Moda just crush it? Yeah, I think Moda just crushed it. That was like a really good recommendation. It might be that we want one more... Actually, we might want one more island. Okay, would you guys change anything or do we... There you go. Oh, well, bam. Perfect. Yeah, I think this looks good. I might cut light and go to 18 lands. You'd bring in the second Tetsugo personally. Our curve starts at three. Maybe we do want to make our our curve a little bit lower we're not there yet jamie we are about to we're about to go into the game we've just this is the sealed pool this is a little different than draft so we have to kind of like figure out what our deck's trying to do and then we take it into the league so we're about to go in yeah i don't think we need 18 lands either i think i'm gonna run this as is you guys we're gonna do a quick giveaway before we go in um if you would like to win a key to play mtg arena this is the key for the beta you can type exclamation mark arena key into the chat and it's going to put you here in this giveaway. Um, we're just going to do the giveaway right now. I'm going to give you a minute to join. It is this arena key. This is on snake code. Please promise me that if you win this giveaway, you will, and you're already in arena, you will either give it to somebody who will use it and you will not sell it. Promise me. That's not even that it's illegal to sell it or anything. I just would rather this end up like, I'd rather somebody ends up playing MTG arena because of it, not like buying it. <laughs> Bam, there you go. Make sure you are following the stream if you are joining this giveaway. And you have to type something in chat to claim it. Otherwise, it's, we're going to reroll. I hope that Gabby Sports. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I win, we will reroll. How about that? No, you can totally enter, Alicia. If you, have, if you already have MTG Arena, you can just give the key to one of your friends or something. Ba -da -da -da. Hey, Vakayas. You promise? See, it's on snake code. All right, we're going to roll. Good luck, chat. Oh, my God. I'm oh, so loud. I'm sorry. I'm oh, so loud. <laughs> Omni Wyvern, congratulations. Show yourself in chat. Say something so we know you've won. You got this, Omni Wyvern. I hope this wasn't somebody who was here at the beginning of the stream. Hashtag rigged. 
Oh, Zerolith. Look, it can't be rigged that we're gonna re-roll for it. Grudging a blood. <laughs> You're like, congratulations. All right, they're not here. They get consumed. Good luck, everyone. Oh, the streamer can't win this. I just, I typed in chat so you guys knew what the key was. So that put me into the giveaway. So if I win, I'll just give it away again. Ooh, the sunny was almost there. Moonrail, you're off by like two again. Gosh, we were so close to Robin Bodyguard too. Okay, Pyra. Pyra, if you are in chat, show yourself. Oh, hey, Sa, welcome to the live stream. This is entertaining, can we just do this all day? <laughs> I love the giveaway stuff, I don't know why. I think the whole like, there you go. Pyra, congratulations. It is your key to give away. Promise me that you will let somebody, either you will use it or you'll give it to some of your friends but not actually like sell it on eBay or something. Let me whisper it to you. Uh, forward slash, congratulations. Good luck everybody in the future. Whisper. Uh, pi. Ra. Ba bam. Enjoy. Wait, please use the whisper window for whispers. Are you for serious? Why are you being so difficult? Pizza Alchemist, thank you so much for the 10 months and welcome, welcome. Welcome back. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to try again. Pi. Ra. Oh, weird. I can't see you. Can you send me a whisper? I don't know why I can't find you. Wait, I think I found you. P-Y-R-H-A. Alright, here you go. Enjoy! Cool. Now, time to go into the sealed league. Yeah, you're welcome, Pyra. You could feel it on my little whiskers rabbit. It was like one away from you. I saw you. You were like one you were like one above, right? <laughs> my strong cost is out of date. Good thing I love it when the strong cost is out of date. Germs, thank you so much for the biddies. Uh Yeah, this seems fine. I mean it's not like amazing or anything. <laughs> No, it's all good, Sin. It's actually sadder when the strong cost is up to date because we never get to see the strong cost. You said same old cost, strong cost. What is the strong cost anyone? Does anyone have any idea what it is? I think it's awesome. Okay. If we just draw one of our tracks, we're in great shape. If we don't draw one of our tracks, we're kind of in trouble. Yeah, we kind of need that cause, for sure. They made two sapperlings. What does this do? Kicker for four. You make four tokens instead, so it's six mana. Uh, so the kicker's actually kind of weak to us on this. Mm, divination's nice. I think I want to get the little glider out first. And start attacking them. Uh, what's your record in Dominator so far? Za, literally 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> this is our first game. Four creatures for one card a week. No, I'm just saying that, like, the... Ooh, Dark Bargain is kind of cool. I'm just saying that the, that the original card, like, the non-kicked version of the card is more powerful than the kicked version of the card. Because you're paying six mana for four one ones. The Zapperlings do look good in this format. Um, yes, Dokomoi, I like this. This island is very cool. I am into it. 
think I'm just gonna icy. Make sure we can tap something in divination. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except the token isn't legendary. If equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. That card seems like it could be very good in the long game. It's very slow. Good luck, Gabby. I need to do my lunch break, so I'll likely miss the rest of this. I will get these for the playmat for the first time weekend during the pre-release. Thank you, Alice. I appreciate it. I hope you have an awesome rest of today. Enjoy the pre-releasing this weekend. I don't know if you're playing or judging or what you're doing, but enjoy it anyway, and have a good weekend. Making copies of Saperlings, Bog Champ. Uh, I might actually, like... So let's Divination real quick. I'm gonna upkeep, tap their mountain, I think. Yep, 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 Kaza. We are on the same boat. We are on the same plan. Five mana summon a one one sapper. It doesn't even get to stick around. Thick boy guts, welcome so much. Welcome to the brood for the very first time. I appreciate the sub. Ooh, they're even gonna have a second mountain. Amaranth Wall, defender. Amaranth Wall gains indestructible until the turn. Interesting. Well, now I can play another icy and keep tapping both mountains. Oh, it actually stays? Oh yeah, the token gains haste. So if it's just a legendary, you'd have to like sack the copy or whatever. Yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, 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 it does stick around. What do you know? Can we track those? Adam, welcome back for the seven months. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting the stream. If Oh, if it's Oh, the cop the token isn't legendary. That's so weird. So you can just have like multiple legends out. How fast is the format looking? Slow. So, I think we're just playing another IC. We're just going to keep tapping them basically. What an insanely unfun deck we have built here. No, I know. The copies aren't legendary. That's what I'm saying. That's weird. Yeah, it's an anti-geo. Do you play Skittering to start taking tokens out? Yeah, Zero, let's move on in a second. I just wanted to tap them out of mountains. Because we, we had the mana to Icy and, and Icy twice. So, like, from now on, we just basically have tax two mana, but we get to tap them with two mana. Got it. We dropped Traxos. We're in good shape. Because, yeah, like, in a second, we're probably... I mean, depending on what they do here, we might just play Academy Journey Mage. Mm, Traxos? Just another skittering surveyor. Oh well. We could just play Journey Mage to bounce a Sapperling. And this Journey Mage unfortunately can't attack into the Amaranth wall. Other than Karn Baby, what do people think are the most busted cards in Dawn? Traxos Steel Helm equipped. That'd be so sick! <laughs> yes. Do you like my deck, Luis? My deck is silly. It's just like playing a bunch of Traxos. This is kind of a meme deck, if anything. Yeah, we could bargain and, and try to find Traxos too. Also, bargain one, two, three, four means that we can tap them twice with Icy. Yeah, let's dark bargain. Shade, which is currently unplayable. Island and Yargles. Yargle actually looks sweet on this board. Put two of them into your hand and the other in your graveyard. Dark Bargain deals two damage to you. I think I'm going to 
gonna take Dreadshade and Yargle. Yeah. Ooh, Yargle and Steel Helm and Infinite Yargles. I am into it. All right, we're gonna keep. Uh... Yeah, we'll fetch a swamp with a Skittering Surveyor. I, I really don't think we needed the island. We're just gonna keep tapping their mountain so that they can't really do that much. Because they're also missing land drops. Ooh. Hold on, we're gonna um, put a thing on their draw step, actually. Because they floated a mana. We're gonna go to the draw step. Okay. Can I get priority in your draw step? What's going on? I'm gonna take the draw step off. Wow, Icy Manipulator is really unfun, especially when you have two. <laughs> All right, let's see what they had. So they had an instant speed spell, it seems. Yeah, I think, I don't know, it feels like, oh, they giant growth at a sapperling? I mean, sure. Yeah, I mean, we're taking six. We have to make sure we have ways to bounce these things in a second. Uh, that was good. Uh, we can play Yargle and then keep tapping their mountains. Nah, no, Jester Poo, it's uh, sealed. Yeah, so we go one, two, three, four, five. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Um, yeah, now in their upkeep, we will still tap them. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Top mountain. This time, I think I still tap the other mountain. I'm sorry, Daddy, you Yargo, please don't eat me. Yargo's gonna be good here, I think. Hey, Freddy, how are you? Welcome. What's their artifact do? Um, they can equip for five. It makes a copy of the creature. What is this? Equip creature gets plus two plus so as long as it's your turn. Equip creature has first strike. Uh, maybe that's a reason to leave Icy Manipulator. I kind of wanted to... Wait, why didn't they equip? Oh, they don't have enough. Okay, we don't have the white source, but we could get it with Skittering Surveyor. Attack in with Yargle the Dream. So the funny thing is, like, if we attack with Yargle, they have to block. Because we're going to send with a, uh, this thing. Did you see they reprinted Jungleborn Pioneer in Dominaria? I did not see that. No. That is kind of cool. Oh, the wall came... Oh, that's true. The wall gets indestructible. So attacking with Yargle this turn doesn't do much, huh? So we could Academy Journey Mage. Oh, actually... We could just Icy Manipulator the, the, the tokens. Uh, Academy Journey Mage, the wall... 
Or like top this, academy journey major this, and then send with both. Yeah, I think we just do that. One, two, three, four, five. This is a bounce and win stream again. <laughs> it's pretty bad, says Ark. All righty. This is actual bounce and win. Wait, are we gonna win with Yargle? Our first game of Dominaria Limited, are we gonna win it with Yargles? Yargle, Yargle, Yargles. Don't kill Yargles, please. Don't kill the Yargle. Let me have this. Yes, we won our first game of Dominaria with Yargle. <laughs> they told you it couldn't be done. Okay, uh, I actually think Radiant Lightning looks good against them, so I think instead of planes, I'm gonna have two Radiant Lightnings if all they're doing is making Sapperlings and such. Wait, Avicii died? Luis, what happened? What happened? Oh my gosh, that a 28? What the what? How? He was so young. He was found dead in Musk at Omen this Friday afternoon, local time, April 20th. The family's devastated, and we ask everyone to please respect their need for privacy in this very difficult time. No further statements will be given. He retired from live performing in 2016, citing health reasons. He suffered from health problems for several years, including acute pancreatitis in part due to excessive drinking. He had a gallbladder and appendix removed in 2014. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. We all reach a point in our lives and careers where we understand what matters to us most. For me, it's creating music. That's what I live for, what I feel like I was born to do. Last year, I quit performing live. And many of you thought that, that was it. By the end of live, never meant to end of Avicii or my music. Instead, I went back to the place where it all made sense, the studio. That's so sad. Wow. I, um, I actually got to see him in concert at Lollapalooza. He was very good. Makes me sad to hear that he like really didn't like it. Oh, Jester Poo, this this deck is thick. <laughs> it definitely is. So I'm gonna bring in the Radiant Lightnings because I think they're playing a one ones and stuff like that. So I think um I think it's gonna be good. And let's take out like mm, Maybe the Death Bloom Thalid. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got the I got the mountains ready. I got them this time. I hate that Radiant Lightning can't hit walkers. Is that the exile uh hello? Uh I mean this hand is kinda slow, but if we hit our land we can hit our shade. Oh, but Zeralith, it kind of felt like they were on uh, Thalid's plan. I don't know, from what I saw, so. Like, they were playing in equipment and stuff to make their Thalids better. That, that was my interpretation of their deck. Maybe it's, like, aggressively boarding, but. <sighs> are the Lightnings actually good? No, no, Kaza, I don't think they are. I, I, I want them specifically because I think they're playing Thalids. See, like, they're playing stuff like this jousting slams and stuff. Like, I don't think you play that until unless you're, like, planning on making, like, little dudes and sending them in. Like, a 1-1's one -one so bad, but a 2-1... Ooh! We get to play our shade next turn. Oh, yeah. Bells and lock. That's... We're never saying that or <laughs> writing it properly. Uh, whenever Corrosive Ooze blocks or becomes blocked in, by an equipped creature, destroy all equipment attached to it at the end of combat. Short. Sure. Yeah, I'm excited for turn 477. Seven. That's our plan.
Is it, it's bells and lock. Bells and there's an N. I thought it was bells and lock too, honestly. Dude, the yard goal was really good last time. Oh, come on. All right, well. Um, create two black cleric creature tokens. I kind of think that we get the rights going. And the next turn, we're probably going to icy to tap this down. <laughs> we got to fight for the right. Gabby, you need to add the duo of the fates to your stream deck whenever you get cast your goal. Oh my gosh, that'd be so good, Ark. Yeah, we're going to cast the, um, the saga. We get a couple of deuterinos, and then we get more deuterinos, and then a couple turns, we get a, a, a thick demon. So look at these guys. They're like, I worship you. I don't mean to have a knee-jerk reaction, but this limited form seems fantastic. Oh, I, Synthetica, I have been super excited for the set. Like, I was tweeting about this yesterday. I can't remember the last time I was this excited about a set, honestly. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Radiant Lightning is a really good sideboard card against this right of Bells and Lock, actually. Of Bells and Lock. When it ETVs, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. Sure. If we did a thick mode, like, what would it even look like, Slewars? That's not your biggest. Ooh, hold on. They pitch six mana, seven, six. I think they're just, like, super mana screwed, is why that's happening. Ooh, look at what we drew here. What's going on, guy? What's going on? Okay, my body is ready. <laughs> we have three ways to untap it. We're also next turn we're gonna get the demon too. We're probably chumping one of these. Like Does this have trample? No, we're just gonna chump with one. So uh, the Tra Thraxil's Guy Freddy is a four mana seven seven, the trample. It doesn't untap on its own. Um, it untaps when you play an artifact or historic spell. Okay, perfect. So now we can play Icy. Yes! Would Zoe I'll be almost falling over trying to lift up a corn dog, Lunar? <laughs> oh, that's cute. I actually really like that. So now we're gonna send with this guy, this bad boy. And next turn, I'm not even gonna tap their lands, I'm just gonna tack, tap their Keldon Raider, I think. At the beginning of combat. Oh, actually. You play 18 lands. 17. Yeah, Traxigon delivered to you. Hey, FMS Albert, new stuff, new set. I'm so excited. I My body was so ready for a new magic set. I can't even explain it. I, I debut why I don't see it. What are they talking about? Uh, oh yeah, you wanna see the token? Oh, this is cool. Wow, the art of this token is very neat. This this demon also looks so like, so emo. Like <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go to beginning of combat.
Oh, I think they mean they don't know why they haven't seen their lands. Oh, yeah, I think our opponent was on, on life T. <laughs> Demon looks like it's listening to Lincoln Park. <laughs> How many of these Dominaria Seal tournaments are you going to do today? Jester, I'm not sure. I'm just going to keep doing it. I have some plans in the evening, but I started up the stream basically as soon as uh, Dominaria came up. So I'm just going to keep jamming for today. I, For the next week, that's all we're doing too, because... Um, I'm playing in the in the GP GP Columbus with Parney and Molly, and I just want to be familiar with the format by then. I think our deck is sweet. The the Traxus is delivering to you. You cannot draft Entropy. Uh, you can on starting on Monday, but right now there's only draft available. Or sorry, there's only sealed available. Oh, slew bars. It's not often that I'm going to GP and the format is brand new, so I really do feel like I gotta, gotta jam. Strong cost. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like a pre-release like IRL, so you only have... Uh, yeah, we can keep this. We need to get uh, black with this. Hi! It's Huey! Oh, we're gonna have to get black with that. Why no draft? Because it's supposed to be like a pre-release. Luis, I'm playing Huey. No, I don't love sealed. I said hi because it's Huey. <laughs> Joseph is overrated, can't even block your uggle. Ooh, we're playing three colors. Tap Dredge Sentinel, it gains indestructible until end of turn. Okay, and it costs three, and it's a two one. So if I don't draw black here, I'm gonna play Skittering Surveyor. Yeah. I got Slay the Spire because of you. Thanks for hurting my wall. Oh, Cookie Lord, you're welcome. What is this? Oh, this is the thing that you kick in. He has menace. We can we can bounce that back though. So we're good. You think I'll destroy Huey? I hope so. We can wait on... I don't know, this is 4 or 5 minutes. This card is really sweet. I kind of want to play this card. Ba -ba -ba. That's true, Synthetica, but I don't know. This card seems really sweet, just like on its own, even if we don't get to ten t turn 10 or whatever. Yeah, four or five minutes is days. Kind of don't want to block with this attack. I am suspicious of this attack. I don't like it. Mm, that's what was going to happen. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand if the spell was kicked to draw a card. That card seems good. I think we just play Icy and start going from here. You sent in green already? Yeah, I'll start tapping it down. Nice, Louise. Well done. Getting all your shit done? Have you played any... Uh... Okay, at the beginning of combat, I don't want this punk to attack. So, wait, how does this work, chat? Tap, Drudge, Sentinel. It gains... It, 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 so even if it's tapped... Like, even if it's attacking right now, he can still just give it indestructible, right? Is that how that works? Yeah, it still deals the da Yeah. Okay, so I'm just not going to block. We need to get some Thraxes going. Oh, come on. F. <laughs> we get the blessed light the bullets clutches to get our icy back 
Yeah, I didn't. I, I, I had no idea how this thing worked, which was stupid. I could just play Academy Journey Mage right now and bounce this thing, attack with this bad boy. And then the following turn we take the Icy. If he has counter spells would be a reason to not do it. We just like Blessed Light, take this back. Yeah, but if they tap my planes, I just respond. This is an instant. So whatever we're doing, we're definitely getting in there with this guy. Yeah, I probably should just do it now while they're tapped out. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Give it back. This card could have almost gotten us. It would have eaten our little skittering surveyor. Ugh. When Acolyte enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard and you gain three life. Okay, let's see what he mills. Blood Tallow Candle, Rona, Disciple of Gix, and Eviscerate. God, we need to get some, like, beef going in this deck. This deck is bay good right now. We're at 10. We can tap this, bounce this. Yeah, so I think we just want an Academy Journey Mage right now. We could also just play Josu Betch's Lich and plant a double block. Yeah, they milled a lot of good cards. <laughs> that they did. Yeah, Journey Mage isn't even that good here. One, two, three, four. Dude, we need to get a Thraxos pronto. We don't really have attacks here. We have some double blocks set up, depending on what he has. And then we can like icy tap down the Acolyte because we can't block that thing. You'd be willing to, but he has more growth. What does that do? Eviscerate is good. Sacrifice blood tallow candle target. She gets minus five, minus five. So it's like, uh, you definitely kill it dead, but. God, if he's doing this, I, this time I feel like I have to block, right? Feels bad, man. We're just at 10, like we can't keep taking damage here forever. Kicker, sacrifice a creature. You may sacrifice a creature in addition to any other cost. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. If this spell was kicked, target creature gets minus five, minus five until end of turn. All right, go beats. Hi, Red Undead, how are you? Yep. That was unfortunate. I think we just want to play two of these gliders. One of them can trade with this, and we can icy manipulator this this thing to tap it. How am I liking Dominaria so far? It feels very good so far. Oh, that thing can't block? F. God damn it, you guys are right. Actually, let's tap down this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Look, we're only taking three. And then we can Journey Mage to bounce this one, probably. Well, now we're Journey Mage to bounce this. Oh my god. During each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard if that card has multiple. Oh my god. That was horrible. Oh my god, this card's horrible. What do we do? Do 
You may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. Rip. <laughs> uh, we're so dead. Yeah, his deck is very good. We journey mage, I guess. Bounce this thing, but then they just replay it. That doesn't even do anything. God, we're so far behind. Like, we attack with these two, and then next turn we tap one of the flyers, we take another three. It does cost him six. We're just like, the Dark Bargain is also dead in our hand, though. Just exile it? We all got rid of our exile thing. All I can say is F. Yeah, we we are pretty dead. Because he's just going to play that thing again. Like, maybe if next turn we can play Traxos in a way to untap it. We're backing it. We're not really backing it. Mm. We can tap that. Then we die to this guy in the skies. We can play this to double block that. And then we take three, five. I'm not showing, yeah, I can't, I'm not gonna show him Thraxos. We're just dubs. Ugh, that was horrible. How do we ever deal with that thing? Do we have any more exile effects? Divest doesn't look super good because, I mean, if we snipe that creature, it's good, but it... <laughs> forgot to tap out the mana for the pump fake. We have not one, but two, the, but two Traxos, yes, and a bunch of ways to untap it. I guess that we in Bolas' clutches that thing. Oh, he has in Bolas' clutches too. Let's see if there's any other enchantment removal, maybe. Be aware that you can target yourself with Divest. Wait, what does Divest do again? Hey, Garab. Oh, what does Dob stand for? It means dead on board. But then, Owen started making this joke about it being like Lou Dobbs. Like, Lou Dobbs tonight. <laughs> so then it also just started meaning that. See how this is all about creatures, right? Divest may be good. What, where is this divest? Oh, this thing? Target player reveals their hand. You choose an artifact creature card from it. That player discards that card. I don't think we want divest. Our deck doesn't look particularly good against Huey. If we can land a, a Traxos, I think we're in good shape. And the Ices are good. If you steal my Ices, I'm going to be mad. Oh, that's kind of funny, Ithlis. All right, I think we're just going to send it in. I do think the Blessed Light is really good against. Okay, we have not one but two Traxos this time. So as long as we draw some lands, we I think we we can we can got this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh shoot. I uh I skipped so fast. I didn't cast my Tetsuko. That's okay. Oh my gosh, so lucky. We good. We good, we good, we good. What is this? 
When Rona, disciple of Gix, enters the battlefield, you may exile target historic card from your graveyard. You cast, you may cast an online card to exile this way with Rona, and exile the top card of your library. Okay. Well, that's a good card. Oh my gosh! Can we please get a land? Uh, okay, that's good enough. Trading um, two for one doesn't seem good here, so let's just pass. Look, if we get these tra like we can go Traxos into Traxos to untap our first Traxos. For reals? Hey, Shaketa, thank you so much for the four months. Kicker. If Baloth Gorger was kicked, it enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters. No. So here's the question, chat. Do we play Traxos first and go from there? We're going to take four, but then it, we can go like Traxos into Traxos into like Icy Manipulator. That seems worth it. Oh, I know it can't be blocked, but I just wanted to block this thing. Yeah, all right. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And not attack. We're just still planning on blocking the Rona. Yeah, so I think we're going to go Traxos. Traxos probably Icy. Oh, no, it's a legendary. It's a legendary. You're right. So we just go like tracks those right or like icy icy to tap this thing sounds not terrible no 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 we're not playing both tracks those we're playing right or icy the only thing that doesn't untap it currently is the dark bargain dude first day of the new set is the most rtfc day ever <laughs> Aw. I mean, I think we just do it again. Like, luckily we have another, right? So we just keep blocking here and just play another track, so <laughs> I'm gonna run it back. They never expect the second Traxos. <laughs> yeah, I, look, I was right about Traxos into Traxos. All right, look, look we, we have this. If, if we can untap with this Traxos, I think we're in good shape. When Guardians of Quelos enters the battlefield, you may return another historic permanent you control to its owner's hand. No, that's so rude. Oh no, you own. You control. Okay, they're bringing that back. Oh, they're not bringing it back. Okay, that is fine. Dude, I did call Traxxas into Traxxas. <laughs> what did I say? Um, we could just, like... This is actually nice. If we embolus this clutches to take the guardians, we untap the Traxos, we hit with the Traxos, and then we have a 4-4 to block this and this. That actually sounds like reasonable. And then next turn we can play like right and then untap our, our Traxos. I feel like we should keep the clutches for an unbeatable card. It just makes our deck so good that it makes our turn so good, I think. Yeah, look at me. I'm the aggressor now. Right, I'm not so worried about that creature. We can just like, also we can icy manipulator. Like the yard, there's nothing in the yards right now. So obviously it's big. Yeah, I like it too, Luis. I, I don't think we sandbagging the in bolus clutches is what we want to do. Huh. 
How much mana do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we could cast Dark Bargain. And like Rites of Belzenok, untap this. But then we can't also use the Icy Manipulator. But we can hold on to this. Hey Molly, how are you? So I think... We go... Rites of Belzenok, untap this and this, and bounce with both. And if he wants to double block to kill my Traxos, this gets in. And then I'm making like 6-6, six, six, right? Oh yeah, that's it, that's Bells then lock. We are close to casting Josie with Kicker. You like attacking with a clutch guy? This guy? Maybe you wanna kill before Blink of an Eye. I like attacking with a clutched guy. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm attacking with both. I think I'm just casting rights. One, two, three, four. Yeah, obviously Traxxas is getting in there. Yeah, we also get to make 1-1s, one -ones, which block some of this stupidity. So we're getting in with Guardians, Traxos, probably this guy too. Nah, let's not get in with that guy. <laughs> Blockable old ones, we did it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna kill thick guy, medium thick guy, and the tutu gets to live. Sure, tutu sticks around and then we can just dark bargain. Hola Gabby! Hi Tundra, how are you? Alright, we're gonna take a dread shade and an island and bin that other island. <laughs> The medium thick guy. <laughs> it's like a 4 4 and a 3 3. It's pretty early. I thought I would start to stream later, but it's a nice surprise. Tundra, just the set was out, so I was pretty excited to. Okay. Ooh, this thing having hexproof is actually a big game. Because I can't actually send with this thing. This 6 6 is gonna at some point be pretty D's. We can start attacking with this, play a dread shit and an icy. I'll be back later, but maybe have fun today. Thank you, Lunrel. I'll see you later if, if you are in here before that time. Play some Dread Shade action. Play an Icy Manipulator action. God damn. There you go. Okay. Uh, I don't think tapping him really helps that much. So I think in case he hits a flyer, I'm just going to tap the flyer. Medium thick is not really thick. When Yevamaya Shepherd enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 green sapperling creature token. Okay, it's a 2 2. Are we sending with a shade? He can pump to be a 3 4 5 6 7. Yeah, so we should just tap this thing. Yeah, we got a thick demon. We get to just pump this thing to be freaking enormous. Hey, Gracie, how are you? Welcome. So I think we're sending with the Tetsuko and the Shade. Let's tap that thing so it can't block at the very least. I would like to play, but sincerely don't know what league to choose. Uh, yeah, we can just let it get in there for three. Uh, okay. You should just choose whichever league you want to choose. Kicked, and it's kicking my demon. Aw, oh, so rude! That was so rude. 
Well, I guess we have clerics for days. When you get a flyer. One tail, welcome to the stream. Yeah, we got blockers, I guess. This thing's huge. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and you draw one card. Whoa, that card's good. Uh oh, spaghetti is. So, if I tap this punk, this shade can be a 9 9. Um, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this could be 7, 8, and 9. That card is so good, damn. The problem is if I just send, he's just gonna block with a sapperling. Swing out with everything? No, because then he just, if I do that, he chumps here, blocks here, and eats my 4-4, four, four, and I get in for 3. Tetsuka's gonna keep getting in there, but the, the problem is the dread shade. I, I think I have to tap the Yabamaya Shepherd, and he's just gonna chump with a sapperling, but like, what can you do? Otherwise, he's gonna set up a huge block. Or maybe we just, like, let him block with it. Just tap the sapperling. And if they tap nothing, we can set up kills on these two, and then we don't care about these. Yeah, actually, that sounds fine. We're not gonna actually IC manipulate or anything. We're gonna save the icy manipulator for the end. Oh my god, he's gonna play that huge thing. Ugh! That thing though, why? Oh, hello. One, two, three. Oh, we have enough. Ba ba ba. Very menacing. <laughs> the menace on that army of Chions is relevant too. It is, it is actually. You can sell the Stapperlings. Bo shizzle. Dude, this card is so good. So what are we tapping the move draw throw? This is sealed. Oh yeah, that was an excellent draw. Yeah, hooray! Okay. Wow, this card was so good. In the game that went so long, the card was insane. Oh, if only they were 2 one zombies for Tets Dude, Tetsuka was kind of going the distance there. The little 1-3 unblockable that could. Huey's deck is really good. So he has bounce. Honestly, like, the bounce is really bad against our rights of bells and lock, but we, we obviously are still playing it. Uh, the stream is dead. Welcome to the brood. How are you doing? Gabby, can we get more bling in my hat? It's hard to see. <laughs> the, really, JK, I feel like people like the adventurer's hat the best. 
Do we have a thing that we can kill with? Oh, killing that thing with giving it minus five, minus five. Blood Tallow Candle might be a good map, uh, a good card to board in here. Long live the stream. <laughs> Just rolling up the battlefield in this whole crew. Hey, LK. I think this Blood Tallow could be good because it untaps is the Traxos and also um, kills like that, that creature that draws you a card every time they play a land. Bradski, thank you. I know Moldothar is a 6 6, but I think killing the 5 5 is like pretty good. We need to cut one more thing. Maybe the Death Bloom Thalid seems medium. Yeah, we're back, boys and girls. Bretsky, how are you? It's good to see you. It used to be called... Yeah, it, that card just looks like Profane Memento, too. Okay, we need some Traxxas action. If you, heart, if you cast an artifact creature from the yard with Mauled Mom, does it count as two types instead of one? Yeah, that's... I, I don't know the card the names for any of these. Tatyova. Tatyova, is that the one that's like, every time you make a land drop, you draw a card? Also, Huey is boarding a lot, which worries me. <laughs> oh, Yargle's sweet. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not not playing Yargle. <laughs> I would love another couple sets in Dominaria, only one is not enough. I'll definitely take it yeah we don't know what the next sets are gonna be at right or where no not really nordicus not really but i think we have a lot of good threes the shadow was a big game in that game i mean we're gonna keep this we need to draw land but then we can go skittering surveyor oh he's also playing is the candle Next one's rumored to be in Ravnica. Haven't we been to Ravnica recently? I feel like we were just there. Yeah, our hand's sweet. Yeah, Drudge Scientist is acceptable. Um, I think we get another blue since we have that black. Though the shade does use a lot of black. Return to return to Ravnica. <laughs> it is the return to the return to Ravnica. I'm gonna get the planes. Return to return to Ravnica. Hey Seder, how are you? I'm not blocking that punk. All right, Traxos, it's it's all you. Let's attack first. Let's go, my boy. It's all you. Yeah, we got the combo dreamer totem. No, no, no. No, we have to kill that thing. That thing's got to die. That was turn five, right? Yeah, they went swamp into play this thing. <sighs> More violent to you, yeah. We're gonna have to bounce it in the following turn. Also, the Voltaic Servant gets to untap it and keeps it on tap, which is nice. So what do we do here? We could just icy to untap, attack with a Traxos, and then next turn. Yeah, it's, it's just gotta be icy, I think. I think upkeep we wanna... Oh, I think we're actually just gonna tap the Tarvoya. We could tap their island. Or we could tap their forest. Yeah, I think upkeep I'm just gonna tap their island, actually. I am 
I'm Mr. Han, I'm running 17. What? Settle the score. Exile target creature, put two loyalty counters on Planeswalker you control. Well, that sucked. Uh, I am. Thank you so much for the 23 months and welcome back. Oh, it's your smile, Princess Baby. <laughs> Princess Baby. Welcome back, welcome back. I think I'm just going to play Academy Journey Mage to bounce this and then tap their island again. Yeah, we're just going to start bouncing. 23 months is so long. Uh, this thing can't get indestructible this turn, so might as well attack. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna tap their island again. God, did we lock him out? Tell me we locked him out. Yes! Perfect. Uh, five, six, seven. This is 10. We're not that far from that. But I think we kind of just journey mage to bounce this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably... No, nah, we'll play the Voltaic Servant, I think. Because we want to keep Icy manipulator in their island. Yeah, Josu seems like we can just wait. <sighs> Sacrifice a creature. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. If this spell was kicked, it gets minus five, minus five. Okay, well, she did. We're gonna Voltaic Servant. And we're gonna keep tapping there. Oh, I should have untapped the... Uh, ah, uh, yeah, 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 I did that wrong. We can just tap this and attack with everybody and then untap the Icy Manipulator. Yeah. Who dat? Who dat? Arrowtainer, thank you so much for the first time sub and welcome. Untap the Icy. And tap him again. Thank you, our entertainer. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I also didn't realize how close we were to timing out against Huey. <laughs> we are kind of doing it. Honestly, the Voltaic Servant's really good with our IC manipulators. Oh, he's got an island. <laughs> One, two, three, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can just kill him. We have two icy. Not one, but two ICs. Oh, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> no reason to attack with those. All right, he's at three. And we also get to make a demon next turn. The demon's at six, six. Yeah. Getting to YCC is pretty hashtag blessed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hello, what is this? Some Gorgerinos? Attack with the clerics? Yeah, that'd be sweet. We don't really have attacks anymore, actually. I 
definitely want land. Probably worth tapping this thing. Because he's going to have to... He needs to have a removal spell. You got to the removal spell? He does. Okay, but now my demon won't die. That's awesome. That was good news. He needs to have a trade in an answer. Yeah, that was awesome because that, that card, the blink of an eye, is really good against our demon. So now he needs to have an answer for the demon and our two little skittering surveyors. And we get to tap this. We could also... Yeah, we have the Josu mana. We do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in two turns we can cast it. Thanks, Rotodo. I appreciate that. GG's. We did it, chat. Traxos went all the way. Actually, Traxos didn't go very far. Traxos died very, very quickly. Yui's deck was good. That, that like, creature, the... The, like, soul type creature that lets you play a card of each type from your graveyard was very good. That card is scary. Yeah, that was actual Huey. Yeah, taste of Huey. <laughs> I wish that would be sweet. Traxos went a non-zero. Yes, Traxos actually went a little bit of the distance because Traxos, we, we went Traxos into Traxos in game two and then Traxos just died immediately in game three or whatever. BK, why you why, why Gabby bully? So greedy not jamming the four or five minutes. And Logan, if we if we resolve that, we just also win on the spot. This hand's awful. BK, why are you so mad? Uh yeah, this hand looks decent. We need like lands or things that are cheaper than four. You beat the world champion with another day strong cost pretty impressive. Ooh, not one, but two Traxos again. That hand had four unblockable creatures. You mean like the zero ones? <laughs> okay, we need to draw land like now. Wow, couldn't have asked for more. Please don't counter this. Yes. Uh, let's get black. Look at our hand, it's all rares. To be fair, I bet Huey's strong cause was also on it. <laughs> friends don't let friends. Ooh. Everything you can do, I can do better. My colors are better, yo. They got an island. Eastland. All right, track sales. Let's do this thing. Should you say hashtag sponsored in your stream title? Why? <laughs> Is your hand so fucking good? Oh, come on. My opponent doesn't like to have fun. Taste. Something, something, four minutes. Dude, the, the Traxos have been really good for us. It just feels like they do immediately die, though. I guess next turn we're going to go right of bills, bills in luck. That is fine. Uh, I think this thing also sounds pretty appealing, so maybe we just icy this turn. No, this gets us to a 6 6 faster. Let's just do this. What is it? Thraxi? Oh, Canadian, I hope that would have to be on our last turn before I like run out the second Traxos to die. 
power. Well, that is fine. I don't even want to go to the sealed event now, guy over here, but I, I think our deck is good. We took a long time making it, but I, I like what we ended up with. On tap of Traxos. Wow, if you knew that all you needed to do to win the match was to get your opponent to, or to untap a Traxos and your opponent concedes. What is this thing anyway? Legendary artifact creature construct. It's like a dragon. Oh, yeah, it's very big because you can see the very small person here. Surely she can't have another historic spell. Dude, this deck is like all the shitty artifacts, except the icy manipulators. Those are quite good. But it's all like shitty. We're even playing this thing just to untap the tracks. So I don't know. He's a dragon engine. I don't know how dragon engine works. T chat, teach me about dragon engines. I don't know anything. Yeah, Nagurik. Dominaria is already available on MTGO. No draft though, just sealed. Uh, I don't really, we didn't see anything from our opponent's deck, so I don't really feel like boarding. One, two, cantrip, basic one's not really that shitty. All I'm saying because that like the deck is just playing random card. Like we don't even have a really good reason to splash. We're just like, we're gonna keep this. Where's our time will combo with Voltaic Servant? I, I wish. We did have Voltaic Servant to untap our Icy, which was awesome. Ooh, that's what we're splashing for. Not that it's a bad card, but it's not like a great card. I think that Surveyor is one of your cards you want to open most in Sealed. Oh, Scaring Surveyor? Well, in Sealed for sure, because you're just so likely to splash. Relic Runner. All right, all right. Great news, no Friday got out. Ooh, no Gurik, that's awesome. Enjoy, enjoy. Friend just sent a picture of their opponent on Sarah's wings on Traxxas cringe, Alice. <laughs> that is cringe. Oh man, this one's now unblockable. That's fine, we're gonna play Surveyor. Let's get white. Yeah, it's pretty dorky. This is, we had the same combo in our deck. We're just not playing the Relic Runner because I don't think it's good for us. Yeah, we cannot block. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Oh, I don't like that guy. Our Aesir Glider also can't block. Mm, what are we doing here? We might have to eviscerate this thing. We're under a real clock here. Feels bad, man. Might as well get in there because we can't block. Mediperp, it seems like the set is a little slower. Also, the cards are pretty powerful, which is sweet. That means that, like, playing cards that do really cool things in the late game can be very sweet. Like, I have Lily's brother. Oh, look, this is new off dart. Ooh, I do like the rights. Uh, I think this turn, though, we want to play Academy Journey Mage to... to get a little bit of tempos. I think we bounced this guy back. Because this is just a 1 3. You've got the right to remain awesome. Oh boy, what is this? Oh my gosh. 6 mana 4 3 win. Whenever Urgoro's empty one deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card at random. If that player can't, you draw a card. Well, we're gonna Blessed Light that thing, and then just dash. I 
I am liking the format so far, Tiberius, but then again, my deck is also busted. I still don't think that like affects things too much. I still think it's very sweet. Okay, we're catching up on this race. Oh my gosh, stop casting big things. Kicked. When Caligo Skin Witch enters the battlefield, the was kicked. Each opponent discards two cards. Um, so what are we discarding? We're discarding Island for sure. It's gotta be like the Ace there glider or like the Divination. Probably the gliders, my guess. Yeah, the glider seems medium. Yeah, I think so too, Alice. I, I, my, I think my deck is, is pretty good. I think we did well. Okay. So now this is just gonna, oh, this can't be blocked. So I guess we might as well attack. Ooh, Journey Age is good. Now we can bounce this thing. Goodbye, Robo Burb. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we divination into a land we can write. That's pretty tempting. The problem with the rights, though, is that while this is in play, um, or, or while they have this card, the, the like tokens don't do anything. And if we brick on land, we, we could get pretty owned. I think I'm probably still going to cast it. It's like a medium greedy line, but I think, yeah, we did it. Oh, this is even better. Yeah, we just play Traxos now, and then next turn we writes to untap it. Hold on. I don't want them to see what I'm... <laughs> the Gooby Greed reward. Hey, look, it was greedy, but I think it was worth it. Hashtag worth. Do you think that Traxxas is related to Daxus and Miletus? Maybe that's just Daxus reincarnated. Oh, boy. Well, our opponent certainly went ham. Mm. Seven mana. Well, this can't block, and this can't be blocked. So if I untap my Traxos and attack with everyone, they have one toughness and I have seven, 10, 11. So they have to block with Relic Runner and then they don't kill me on the next attack. This is my first sealed event today. Oh, Journey costs four also, that is cute. But I need to attack Traxos. So, so let's go right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have to untap him. It, it is good to know though. I, I forgot that these two help each other out. That is pretty sweet. Cause this forces them to block with a Relic Runner which doesn't give them lethal next turn. We have to send with everybody though. Yeah, and what about Journey Mage and Bouncer Blocker? Well, this is a, this can't even block. And we're not dead next turn. So this forces them to block this here. And then they take eight. And then they don't have a, like, they can't, they need to have a pump spill. They're blue-black. What are they going to have? Not that I know the set at all. Oh. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until the turn. Create a one, one green sapper and creature token. Okay. So now they get to chump here, this eats this, right, and they take seven from Traxos. Not quite lethal, but still pretty good. That was unfortunate. Uh, we won, we beat Huey. We did not miss lethal, Aaron. Oh boy. They just attacked? Oh, they're hoping that we can't untap the Traxos. <laughs> Always untap Traxos. There's no better player, right? We just have to... <laughs> Cl 
Classic Yargle lethals. Little did they know about the power of Yargles. <laughs> Yargle, what up, my boy? God, please don't have a bounce bow. It's gonna be so unfortunate. They have one card left. I don't know why I play this game. <laughs> I love it when I get salty on phones. It's so good. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That made me happy. My little gooby heart was very happy after seeing that. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> yeah. My salt levels are rising. <laughs> Um, you just made somebody quit forever. If you beat me with 10 plus first with two ices on Sunday, I would be hella salty. <laughs> um, what, how many, um, uh, how many matches do you have in this league? Is it, is it five? Because I always keep my matches on YouTube to three anyway, so I am going to wrap up, I think, the YouTube video, video here, but we will finish playing with this deck because it is sweet. Your tears are a fountain, I frolic in. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it is true, Mr. Fun. Sometimes you just lose to some nonsense and you're like, this is horrible. Uh, let me, so I'm still fin, I'm not done streaming. I'm just wrapping up the YouTube video. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our first foray into Dominaria. I think our deck is broken. It is quite, quite good. Um, if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash Gabby Sparks. I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. And if you want to see more videos, I'm going to put some suggested videos over here. Um, and there will be more Dominaria as that continues to come out. Uh, thanks for watching, YouTube. See you later.